Good evening, everyone. Welcome to episode five of Lockdown Theater, entertainment for the homebound. Uh, full disclosure, I am recording this on at about 11.15 or so on the 25th. Uh, so by the time I post this, it will be the 26th, just so you know um, the timeline of when I'm recording versus posting. Uh, so tonight's movie is the 1990 thriller, Jacob's Ladder. Starring Tim Robbins, Elizabeth Pena, and Danny Aiello. Um, this, and it's funny, this is the second movie in a row that I've watched with, which has Jason Alexander randomly. Last night was, or the last posting was a uh, Pretty Woman, and now Jacob's Ladder. I don't know, I'm having a little mini Jacob, uh, Jason Alexander film festival here. Um, so this movie was directed by Adrian Lyne, who, um, you know, <laughs> We need directors like Adrian Lyne. Uh, these directors that make unabashed, um, unapologetic, adult-oriented films. I mean, Adrian Lyne is the director who did Nine and a Half Weeks, um, Indecent Proposal, Fatal Attraction. So, you know, the guy's not making Disney movies. And, you know, family-friendly be damned with directors like this. Um, and we need people like that. We need directors like that that, that cater very much to an adult um market because you know adults want to don't necessarily you know want to see stuff that's made for them sometimes and not you know always have to compromise for um you know movies that are that are geared more towards family friendly sometimes we want to just see you know stuff that's made for adults it's that simple and uh directors like adrian line um bring that to the table and uh so i for one am very you know thankful that there are directors like him around. Paul Verhoeven, one of my favorite directors of all time, would be another one to throw into that um, into that grouping. Um, and this, uh, Jacob's Ladder is what happens when Adrian Lyne makes a Vietnam War movie. <laughs> um, you know, <laughs> it's, I mean, this is one of those movies where he's he's just got so much going on in here. I mean, there's a little bit of, you know, biblical allegory, you know, good versus evil, life and death, and, you know, he throws demons in there, and, uh, and then there's the Vietnam War part of it, and it's, you know, so there's a lot going on in this movie, and to be perfectly honest, it doesn't really cohere um, and make a whole lot of sense, um, but in a strange way, it, 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 it weirdly works, and I think Adrian Lyon is actually a good director for this movie. I mean, he's very, um, he's very... Uh, adept at creating kind of like a dreamy, hallucinogenic kind of mood that suits this material particularly well, since, you know, Tim Robbins' character is pretty much hallucinating through the entire movie. Um, and Adrian Lyne has a tendency to direct his movies as if they're all shot through, like, cheesecloth. If you look at, like, Flashdance, it's the same thing, or Fatal Attraction, or, you know, and, and, and in this movie, it kind of adds to that kind of dream dreamlike, uh, hallucinogenic quality that I think he's going for and that, mater and that the material really um, asks for and demands. Uh, plus the fact it's always fun to see like, you know, late 80s New York City, um, you know, the kind of grit and the grime that doesn't really exist so much anymore um, from a sort of a time capsule perspective. Um, so there's a lot of that in here uh, as well. So, um, so the movie is a lot of style over substance, like most, I would say, I would argue that, you know, most of Adrian Lyne's films tend to be, um, he's a very stylish director and you know what, again, uh, he's a, he's a good film director because he really brings the, uh, to the, to the audience what film is really, um, what what the medium is really made for. It's a visual medium, and he really supplies the visual um, aspect to his stories and to his movies. Um, stuff that's really interesting and beautiful to look at. And uh, I think that that's a primal um, quality of his of, that makes his, that make his movies, at least to me, um, so successful. Is that he's really bringing that visual quality and a very basic nature to his films. Um, so yeah, so Jacob's Ladder is kind of a crazy movie and it's kind of all over the place and, um, but you know, uh, T Tim Robbins is, is, is good and Elizabeth Pena is, is, is a very, is very good and, um, 
you know, you get an early, or not an early, but you get a, you know, Ving Rhames is in there. You get a young Macaulay Culkin in there too. So, uh, so it's a, it's a, it's a bit of a crazy, you know, warped, uh, but very good looking film. Um, so Jacob's Ladder from director Adrian Lyne. Uh, yeah, that's what I got for you for this episode of Lockdown Theater. I uh, stay tuned for episode six, which don't really know what I'm going to watch yet, but we'll see what strikes me when the time comes. So stay tuned and until then, take care of each other and be safe.